Hi, I'm Grace. Welcome to Meet Me at the Corner. I'm here at the Mayborn Museum at Baylor University in Waco, Texas. It's that time here in Texas where my friends and I start thinking about the upcoming science fair and our science fair projects. A science fair project is an entry into a contest and like all contests, it has rules. The primary guideline for developing a project is the scientific method. Project displays are required for most school science fairs. Your project display is a visual representation of all the work you have done. It should consist of a backboard with the basic steps of the scientific method on it. Everyone's project is judged and graded and sometimes awards are given. Today we're going to speak to Janice Van Cleve. She is a teacher, a scientist, and an author of several books about science fair and science fair projects. Why do you think it is important to do a science fair project? Because it teaches the scientific method. But more than that even, it gives kids an opportunity to uh, do a project on their own, design it themselves so that they can be proud of their work. What is the scientific method? The scientific method is the basics of science. It is a, a process that you would use to solve problems. First you have to identify the problem, then you solve the problem, and there are just different steps that you can follow to do that. But I find that even in life, I use the scientific method because I identify problems and I solve them with ways that I think up. My friends and I want to enter this year's science fair. How should we begin? I think that you should choose a topic, for example, uh, if you like crystals, and then look through books and find an experiment that just kind of gives you a basic recipe of how to grow crystals. And then once you've done that, then you can change that experiment so to make it your own, and so it'll be your experiment. Can you tell us about the different projects we can do? Anything that has to do with science, astronomy, biology, chemistry, earth science, and physics, but also science fairs as a rule uh, promote and allow engineering projects. Uh, difference being that you would take science and create something that would be useful. For example, a young boy won a fair one year and he had made uh, a solar heater. He got a radiator out of an old junkyard. He had uh, empty soda cans and with just those things, he actually heated his house with that. Does it cost a lot of money to do a science fair? It could, but it should not. As a science fair judge, I'm much more impressed with projects in which the kids actually make all of the equipment that they need, you know, if possible. To learn more about Janice Van Cleve's books and great websites about science fairs and ideas for science fairs, check out our website. Well, that's all from my corner of the world. See you next time.